16 years ago, in 2006, a paper in Nature was published that presented fraudulent data that essentially derailed Alzheimer's disease research in many ways and wasted millions of dollars of Alzheimer's disease research funding, I think suffers as a result. And it's a big problem. That's why I totally disagree with the, with the mantra to just trust the science, regardless of, you know, of all else, to just blindly go with what authorities say, because science is fallible. Basically, what came out, the revelation that came out two weeks ago, is that that 2006 paper was based on data that was completely fabricated. They never found this amyloid subtype that was responsible for cognitive impairment. Scientific groups have since tried to find it. It was called AB star 56. They were unable to find it. It was completely made up. And for 16 years, essentially, this paper was highly cited in tons of, of medical journals, right, by scientists that are just we're continuing to push the status quo. Millions of dollars have continued to pour into this hypothesis, which is proven wrong, which was proved, you know, is continually proven wrong despite, you know, this, this horrible data, this fraudulent yeah. fake data. It's led to the, you know, the obviously so much uh, misplaced hope. Like what was fraudulent about it? Like what did they make up in the 2006 study? So it's possible that they, that they made it, they made all of that up okay. because what they basically did was they showed data on a um, what's called a Western blot. Which the this Vanderbilt researcher who basically was the whistleblower, Matthew Schrag, this guy basically found evidence that they were that some of the blots were copied over, that there were artifacts around the blot clearly indicating a Photoshop copy paste job. Oh, yeah, because I mean. Papers are subject to peer review, but the scientists are not like image sleuths. They're not going and zooming in and running the images that accompany papers through like image processing software to see yeah. that, that level of fraud. Like that just doesn't happen. 